choosing the best hairstyle for your Yorkie, there are many factors that you should consider. Whether you groom your Yorkie yourself or hire a professional groomer, you will need to decide which haircut is best. The most important consideration is time. The amount of time needed to care for your Yorkie greatly depends on the length of coat that you plan for your Yorkie to have. The longer the coat, the more time that you will need to maintain it. An energetic family lifestyle provides more outdoor activities. A Yorkie in this environment may need a shorter trim. Busy professionals may choose a fun, fashionable style for their Yorkie that is easier to maintain than full coat. Each length of coat will require a different set of tools and routines to maintain the hair. Dogs who keep full top knots will need their hair done daily to keep the top knot from getting tangled and out of the eyes. This is usually done with one to three sections so as to prevent the ponytail from falling forward into the eyes. Top knot pillows are a must have if you plan to keep a ponytail on your Yorkie. A ponytail tool can be used to keep the ponytail lying flat without flipping into the pet's eyes. There are so many cute looks when you keep a longer top knot. The tassel top ponytail is cute as well. It is put up with one band gathering the entire top knot. Then, once it is up, it is trimmed into a fan so that it never falls forward into the eyes. It is very important to have a grooming surface to work on your Yorkie. A grooming table is best with a non-slip surface. Bangs can be trimmed for those who prefer not to be bothered with the daily maintenance of a top knot. Shorter styles will need a flexible slicker brush, while the longest styles will require a pin brush. This style is very pretty. The trunk of the body is typically trimmed with a snap-on comb, such as a half inch or three quarter inch. The top knot can be kept long or trimmed into a tassel top ponytail. Correctly done, the Yorkie's ears should be tipped. By trimming them closely on the tips of the ears, I usually trim about the top third of the ear, very short. However, some Yorkies do not have ears that stand up. For these Yorkies, we do typically leave fluffy, long ears. The way that the ears are trimmed are a preference of the pet owner. I do have a few Yorkie clients who do have Yorkies whose ears stand up, and yet we do keep long flowing hair on those ears. As you can see here, it is very cute. I have other Yorkie clients that do not like the ears tipped short, but they do like them kept quite short, as you can see on this Yorkie with soft fuzzy ears. Whether you like your Yorkie's ears trimmed long or short, they are adorable either way. The tail style varies from Yorkie to Yorkie as well, if they're getting shorter haircuts. As you can see here, this Yorkie has a long ponytail on her tail. This Yorkie has her tail trimmed very short, while this one has a medium length trim. This Yorkie, that's in more of a poodle style, has a little pom-pom on her tail. Each one is completely individual and different, and the preference is up to the pet parent. On occasion, you will see on a Yorkie puppy especially, two layers of coat. One very fine, thin layer over a thicker layer. This is not uncommon and most Yorkies will grow out of this. To trim this, I usually hand scissor the dog by using a back combing action to lift the hair up and then scissor off the top, removing only the thinnest hair.
Another time where hand scissoring a Yorkie is very important using this back combing action is on the hips and shoulders of certain coat types on Yorkies. Occasionally you will see a Yorkie who has cowlicks on his hips. This is not uncommon. By using your comb and sliding the comb upward while scissoring off as you comb upward will help to layer the hair over the hips so that you do not see choppiness from the cowlicks in the hips. The freestyle fusion trims are very fun. While they are easier to maintain than full coat, they still require daily maintenance. These styles are trimmed very short on the entire trunk of the body using a 7 or a 5 blade. The chin hair is kept very short with a characteristic oval mustache to define the style. The legs and top knot are kept very long. The tools needed to maintain this haircut are a pen brush, a flexible slicker brush, a medium fine tooth comb, a rat tail comb, and bands for the top knot. In freestyle grooming, you can use your imagination and create styles, such as the one seen on this Yorkie. Her pet parent made up this hairstyle with poodle feet, a poodle Miami trim, and a Westie style face. So as you can see, it's adorable on her. Just use your imagination and have fun. Keeping a Yorkie in full coat is a labor of love. People who choose to keep a full coat are very dedicated pet parents who protect their dog's coats with every ounce of their being. These coats are easiest for me to keep if I do a light brushing daily along with tying up the top knot and then a full bath, conditioning, blow dry, and complete comb through every five days. Yes, you heard me right every five days. Correctly done, Yorkies are kept in full coat with tipped ears and no hair trimmed around the eyes. Some choose to keep their Yorkies in a body contour style, basically clipped down all over with short round faces. While these styles are easy to maintain, the dog still needs to be brushed and washed regularly. In styling the pet dog, there are many, many variations and all of these variations are completely acceptable for the house pet. The style decided upon is decided by the pet parent. This popular style is easy to maintain. It is short, but not too short. The length can be adjusted to suit your taste. A good brushing every four to five days will suffice. Most commonly, a three or four blade is used on the trunk of the body. The legs are scissored and blended into the body. Bathing should be done weekly, but can also be done every two weeks if necessary. Yorkie puppies should start learning to be groomed as soon as they come to live with you. Whether you plan to have a professional groomer or not, it is important to start the training at home. Just gently brushing your Yorkie every day will train your puppy for the grooming process. But remember that the puppy may be teething. Be careful how you hold the head. I use my hand in a C shape on the head. If your puppy doesn't accept this, you can train the dog to allow you to do this by separating the action from the grooming and simply train the hold. I do this by having the dog's favorite treats close by. Paw mats are great for keeping the surface comfortable. Then, putting my hand in a C-shape, I place my hand onto the dog's head and then pop a treat in his mouth. After a few weeks of doing this three times once a day, I will add by putting a little pressure and sliding the skin back, tightening the loose skin over the eyes. This is important 
as Yorkies need to have the head held to trim the ears and bangs in the corners of the eyes. Be sure to lavish praise on the puppy when finished, regardless of how well the puppy accepts the process. Another way to train your Yorkie for grooming is to gently file the puppy's nails daily with a salon board. I start with just one or two toes a day using the 180 grit side of a 180 100 grit nail file. Again, do this on a non-slip surface like a grooming table with the puppy properly secured. Ignore the screaming, flailing, and pulling if the puppy does this because you know the nail file does not hurt him. Praise the slightest attempt by the puppy for calm. Pop a favorite soft treat in the puppy's mouth. Lavish him with praise and play with him. Doing one or two nails a day for a few weeks and then move on to doing a whole foot. Keep working until you can do all four feet in one sitting without a fuss. Trust me, you will get there. See my styling blogs at groomingsafer.com and my Yorkie grooming playlists on YouTube where you can see many of the styles that you see here performed. I hope this video helps you decide which hairstyle is best for your Yorkie and your lifestyle. If you leave it up to the groomer, we will choose something that's cute, typically short, but not too short. The hairstyle is chosen by the pet parent, so please be sure to inform your groomer which style that you like best. Let me know which style is your favorite in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss my next video. See you next time, guys. Bye.